The two-year Republican majority in the Minnesota legislature will come to an end. For the first time since 1990, the DFL will have a governor in office and control both legislative houses. This after several Republican incumbents who helped the party gain control two years ago lost their bids for re-election. As Delane Cleveland reports, there are opposing views about what the results mean. Hours after the final votes were tallied, newly elected state senator John Hoffman. A lot of hard work. And newly elected state representative Mike Freiberg. Oh, it feels great. It's uh, it's kind of exhilarating. Um, both share a sense I, I of exhaustion and joy at being part of the wave of DFLers voted into office after a two-year Republican majority. What we're hearing from people on the streets and, and at doorsteps were, you know, get something done, gridlock. They're tired of the gridlock, tired of the fact that people shut down government and still took paychecks. I mean, it, it made no sense to them at all, and it made no sense to me. The legislature the last couple of years hasn't had the right priorities. Borrowing money from the schools, uh, focusing on these constitutional amendments, I think the results uh, in, those, in the races for the amendments kind of speaks to that. Meanwhile, in downtown St. Paul... As, uh, you all know by now it wasn't uh, quite the election we'd hoped for last night. Republican House Speaker Kurt Sorry. Zellers had a different set of explanations as to why the GOP lost the majority. I think there's uh, a lot of, of voter turnout that, quite frankly, wasn't expected. I, I didn't expect to see a plus eight here in Minnesota. Yeah, that United plus States eight being a reference to President Obama's margin of God victory in the state. Zellers, however, would not blame the constitutional amendments on voter ID and same-sex marriage as reasons for the loss. I think that's for uh, a lot of political science professors to figure out. Um, you know, we put it on the ballot because we believed, and um, the majority of the members in the legislature believed that it was the right thing to do. Meantime, the new DFL majority provided a hint as to what their focus will be this coming session. If we're listening to what folks around here are saying, we know jobs, property taxes, and, and get, get something done and pay the schools back. Zellers, meanwhile, had his own take on what to expect. A lot of small business owners are going to see his tax increase. Also, something worth mentioning is that John Hoffman is a member of the Anoka Hennepin School Board. He said the board will have to appoint someone to fill the last year of his term. Mike Freiberg is a Golden Valley Council member. He said the city will have to hold a special election to find his permanent replacement. Kurt Zellers, meanwhile, will stay in office, but he says he will not run for a leadership role. Mike and Alex. All right, thank you, Delaney.